Hey everyone, so the next step is going to be creating our coal. So we're going to go onto our sprites right here that says coal. We're going to go inside of costumes. Uh, this second costume isn't necessary. This will be used later on for something else and we'll come back to this one later. Our main focus is this costume one. So for this, uh, you guys do have the option like the original one to change the actual color that you have uh, for the coal. Uh, so you guys can play around with that. But if you don't want to use the coal because you created a different theme, or if you're still keeping the same theme of this game, but you've decided that maybe a coal won't work, you want to add something completely different, that's perfectly fine. Uh, all you'll have to do is you can start by duplicating this. You can convert to vector. And then you can go ahead and use any of your tools that you normally would to draw whatever you want. And the reason why we're leaving the coal here is because you want to see what about what size you want it to be, uh, because we can't have it too big because I know it'll cover too much when it actually shows up in our game. So it's good to see uh, this coal here to use as a reference, uh, which just means being able to see the actual size that you're trying to create your new coal uh, or your new um, kind of enemy. Uh, with. So I'm going to use my brush tool, for example, maybe let's say um, I want to create a thunderbolt as an example. So I'm going to use my brush tool. And I'm going to go ahead and just create it right next to it. So it's about the same size. Okay, and I'm just going to fill it in. And if I want to, I can add a little bit of more, a bit more details to it. Okay. Uh, and then once I am happy with what I have, as an example, then what I can do is there are two options. First, you can just go ahead and use your select tool to move what you have. Uh, on top of where the coal is. Uh, and as long as it covers it, you don't have to worry about it, or you can move it behind it afterwards by clicking back. And then you can click the original item and you can delete it. Once you've deleted it, uh, you can go ahead and delete the first costume since it's not necessary to have it. But if you want it there for an option, that's perfectly fine. Uh, but all we need is our new version of this coal that we're going to go ahead and use, which is going to be the enemy for our game. Uh, so for those of you who want to take it again a step further, you can always convert it into bitmap and this will make it a little bit uh, more pixelated if you still want to go with that kind of theme. Uh, and then you can use some of the objects that we've used previously for our reindeer in our present uh, to help make this more of a pixel artwork that you can use as well. So once you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and move to the next step, which is going to be coding our coal.